All right, so I was already pretty excited to make this video yesterday, but a couple of things happened today that are just gonna make this video so much more fun than it was ever supposed to be. And those things are number one, I rainbowed my LR Final Form Cooler. If you guys missed the top grossing summoning video from this morning, then make sure to go check that out. And number two, about an hour after I rainbowed him, I finally got big bad bosses to level 10. So yeah, it's been a pretty good day so far. Let's continue that trend by absolutely annihilating Wicked Bloodlines uh, Extreme Super Battle Road. With this team right here, we got the double LR Final Form Coolers, the OG STR Cooler, LR Full Power Frieza, Tech Transforming Frieza, uh, AGL Golden Frieza, and finally the Int Final Form Frieza. So here we go, on this first rotation, we have the friend cooler who is at 69% I believe. Yeah, 69%, but his links are really, really good, I like that. And he's starting with 238,000 defense, which is not amazing, but of course he does get a lot more defense after he supers. So the smart move here would be to actually put the full power freezer there, but since we're showcasing the final form cooler, I'm gonna put him in that first slot and see how he fares against the uh, Saiyan dad attacks. But I will pop an Icarus first, just to be safe. And yeah, here we go. Let's go for let's go for Bardock first. Why not? That's gonna be a nice 18 key super. And actually, it'll be good. It'll be really good to kill Bardock first, just so the uh, TUR STR cooler doesn't take any attacks. So we're taking double digits here for the normals as expected, and it's awesome that we didn't get supered before we got a chance to attack, because now he's gonna be much, much tankier. And in fact, he's probably gonna kill Bardock if we get a second super here. We do, 4.5. Okay, so I think Bardock is dead. I'd be pretty surprised if he survives this. Okay, one more super. One more super. The second super wasn't enough. The third super should definitely do it now. And there he goes. Okay, Bardock is dead. That was a pretty good showing from the friend. 69% cooler. Not gonna be as good as my cooler, but good job. <laughs> good job. And yeah, you know what? If we get an additional super here from the full power Frieza, we might actually kill King Vegeta as well. Of course, this is mainly a showcase of the Final Form Cooler on Extreme Super Battle Road to give you guys an idea of what he can do on different events, but it's also a showcase of the Wicked Bloodline team, which is just absolutely ridiculous now. Wicked Bloodline is... It's gotta be like a top three team in the game now with the Final Form Cooler and also some, uh, you know, Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming up on the horizon. Ooh, here is a super attack. This is gonna hurt a little bit. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that's about what I expected, because uh, once again, Cooler has some decent defense, you know, before he attacks, but he's definitely much better as a slot two uh, or slot three defender after he gets to build some defense with the super attack, but it's all good. It's all good. It wasn't that much damage. I can take it. You know, uh, lesser units would have taken a lot more damage, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so second fight here. I'm going to... Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, so we are not taking any attacks before our cooler supers. I will heal up a little bit with the Princess Snake. And we're definitely going to take out... Let's take out the Goku first just so my TUR cooler doesn't take any attacks. And then we know Final Form Frieza can do really well. Uh, I'm not gonna target the Raditz though, because we want to keep the Goku's family unit alive. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Nappa, since he will give my cooler some issues with the type advantage. So 5.7 mil here, we are getting some extra support, I believe, from the free-to-play int on form Frieza, which is nice. 
And give me a couple more supers cooler. Come on. One more at least. One more at least. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> that's not ideal. I gotta be honest, that's not ideal because there's a chance that now TUR cooler doesn't kill the Goku. And if we don't kill the Goku, then we're gonna take some attacks and some of those could be supers. Or at least one of those might be a super. Oh my god, he's still alive. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't super us. So we actually got very lucky there. Yeah, we got extremely lucky. And it's also really lucky that the Frieza is taking the super attack from Nappa. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Everything worked out as it was supposed to. And let me see who links better here. I guess the... Tech Frieza actually links a bit better with Cooler. There we go. Uh, we are going to pop the Icarus for sure. And then we can take out anybody we want. So um, I think we're going to go for... I kind of want to go for Nappa just so we can kill him as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's go for Nappa. Even though we have type advantage, I have a crap ton of uh, crit on the Cooler. So there's a good chance he crits multiple times. And uh, let's finish off. Yeah, let's finish off the Goku with the Tech Frieza. Even if he doesn't get a super, the normal should be enough. And then we'll go for. Actually, I'm gonna go for Nappa with the full power Frieza. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a nice dodge. The level 5 dodge skill orb really coming in clutch right now. And yeah, Nappa, please die. He's the only one that scares me right now. Okay, there we go. One super, second super. If it's another crit, Nappa is definitely dead. Like 100% he's dead. Okay, third super. Second super, not enough. I'll give you a third super. This should definitely do it. There we go. And Nappa. Oh, you know what? We got some for Vegeta too. <laughs> we got something for Vegeta too. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. And I think that was, oh my god, yo, he just is not going to stop attacking. Was that five supers? Dude, I think that was the first time I've ever, ever seen my cooler super five times. I'm pretty sure that was the first time. Well, damn, okay. Okay. Now, we took a little bit of damage there, not a big deal. That's why we popped the um, Icarus, right? And... Unless I counted wrong, unless, unless I, I'm pretty sure that was five supers, guys. I'm pretty sure that was five supers. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Obviously, I haven't used him for that long. It's only been a couple days, right, since he came out. But nonetheless, that was epic. <laughs> that was freaking epic. All right. So that was a nice fight right there. Made me really happy. Now let's finish things off with the last fight here and oh we can actually safely put the cooler in the first slot because there's only two phase attacks but of course I will still go for a little bit of healing and damage reduction for the TUR cooler he's the one that really is an issue right now and um, yeah let's take out Vegeta we should easily be able to kill Vegeta with the two coolers I kind of want to go for Goku I really do but if we don't get the crits, then Goku might still survive. And if he survives, then we'll have three enemies to worry about still. So let's just not, you know, risk that. Let's take out at least one out of the three. And then we have to only worry about Goku. And is it Trunks? Yeah, Trunks. All right, yo, come on. Come on. Give us at least two supers. I mean, my cooler gave us five. He didn't give us any supers. Okay, well, let's... That's all right. Here's a super attack. We only got to super one, so his defense is not super high right now. There we go. That's about what I expected. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Now, I'm just really hoping that uh, Goku doesn't super the TUR cooler. Because that would be very, very unfortunate. Because <laughs> that's probably going to kill us. And we've gotten this far. Oh, thank God. Okay. We're all good. We're chilling. We're chilling. As long as it wasn't a super, I knew we were going to survive. And now we're good to go. All right. 
So let's heal up a bit here. I'm going to go for an Aider. And let me see. Yeah, we can take out Goku for sure, but we don't really need to. Goku's not really a threat right now. Um, since we have the final form Frieza at the end. And yeah, let's let's take out Trunks first. And in the process, we might actually kill Goku anyways. If if Cooler goes off again and gives us like 10 supers, right? So here we go. 17k, not bad. Not bad. And Trunks is definitely dead. Unless he only supers once, but I kind of doubt that. That's pretty unlikely, right? Okay, never mind. <laughs> he is only going to super once this time. So, as you can see, there is quite a bit of RNG. There's quite a bit of uh, variance in the unit, if you will. Um, he will super anywhere between one to five times. Of course, he will attack multiple times, guaranteed, every single turn. It's just uh, they're not all, all going to be supers like we saw in that second fight. And I want I want Cooler to finish things off. I am a little bit concerned that that first attack is a super. So just in case, I'm going to pop a Whis. Okay, we have a lot of defense, 460k, so we will survive either way. But if it's a super attack, then it could get rough. Oh, why did I not? Okay, that's my bad. <laughs> I messed up, guys. I should have given the STR cooler um, a super, but I misclicked. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This will still do it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see cooler fully stacked up in this video because, you know, we just couldn't get enough attacks, right? Like we weren't able to see a 12 to 13 million attack stat, but... It's something you kind of expect from Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road because you're not really getting that many turns, right? Especially when you're doing this much damage. So, yeah, we uh, weren't able to fully stack them up. We weren't able to get the uh, active skill either, which is only available after, I think, eight attacks. Something like that, which we didn't get, of course. So, um, yeah, you couldn't see the full extent of Cooler's powers, but you can see that he does perform really well on Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, items are definitely recommended, I think, or maybe not. If you actually play in a style where you're not showcasing a unit, right, where you're uh, putting certain guys in certain slots that make more sense, like Golden Frieza in rotation, or the uh, Int Final Form Frieza in rotation, as a tank and then letting cooler attack second then you can probably do a no item run pretty easily the only reason i used items here is because i wanted to showcase the cooler as much as possible and a lot of times that required us to put him in the first slot and in those situations he can definitely get in a little bit of trouble before he gets the build up right and also i had to bring this guy because he is currently the best linking partner for the final form cooler and his defense is just not very good, so for that reason as well, we do need to pop some items. But if you bring a better team, a better defensive team with the cooler as your main damage dealer, I think you can easily no item extreme super battle road. So there you have it, guys. That is the uh, LR Final Form Cooler Extreme Super Battle Road Showcase. Like I said, I am just having a great day so far. Hope you guys are having an amazing day too. Um, yeah, man, I love this unit. He is easily, easily my favorite unit in the game right now. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I mean, I love Bird Koo. He's a beast. But this guy, to me, is the best unit in the game right now. And uh, more videos coming soon. More showcases coming soon for sure. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.